Hi, my name is Vincent, Solution Architect at FI Networks. In this demo, I would like to show you how to build a Cisco APIC L4 L7 device that uses FI VCMP gas HA pair and FI IWAFO HA cluster. Using FI IWAFO release 2.0.0, FI device package works with Cisco ACI chassis manager feature, allowing user build an APIC L4 L7 device that uses VCMP gas active standby pair where each VCMP gas belong to a unique VCMP host. Prerequisite is VCMP gas are already deployed. This device package also utilizes Cisco ACI device manager feature, allowing user specify an active 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 IWAFO cluster within ACI L4 L7 device. The prerequisite is IWAFO HA cluster is already established. Both Cisco ACI chassis and device manager is available beginning APIC 1.2 2H release. Let's look at the VCMP HA ACI chassis manager demo steps. First, create a L4 L7 chassis type under APIC L4 L7 services inventory. Second, under APIC tenant space, L4 L7 services under chassis, create a new chassis for each VCMP host and associate it with the previous created chassis type. Finally, when create L4 L7 devices, after entering the VCMP gas management IP, associate this gas with the chassis, which in essence is the VCMP host. The demo steps for IWA 4HA ACI device manager are very similar. First, create a L4 L7 device manager type under APIC L4 L7 services inventory. Then under APIC tenant space, L4 L7 services, under device managers, create a new device manager. Enter the free Iowa Flow virtual appliances management IP and associate this device manager with the device manager type created earlier. Finally, when created L4 L7 devices, associate this device manager under the cluster management. We now go to the actual demo. Under Iowa Flow system, we have an Iowa Flow cluster of free Iowa Flow virtual appliances in active, active, active mode. Going to iWaffle Cloud, discover the two VCMP guests under devices. This will make sure the VCMP guests have the latest REST framework. After the discovery is completed, you will see both guests are available. Now take a look at the big IP. We have two VCMP hosts here, each containing four guests. For this demo, we'll use guest.81 from host.80 and guest.87 from host.86. Prior to APIC integration, the big IP are licensed, out of band management configured, and in standalone mode. In Iowa for Cloud, under the APIC Cloud Connector, user can dynamically generate the device package that contains the templates inside the Iowa for Catalog. On Cisco APIC, User can now import the IWAFLOW device package. Notice there is already an IWAFLOW device package exists in APIC. If this is a minor version update, it is a service non-interruptive operation. Once a device package is available, under the L4 L7 services inventory, right-click on chassis type to create a new L4 L7 chassis type. Enter the chassis type info, where the vendor is F5, model is iWorkflow. Notice that the version value is 2.0 plus the name of the connector configured in iWorkflow. Lastly, tie the device package to the chassis type. Next is the device manager type. Right click and create a new device manager type. Similar to the chassis manager type, Enter the vendor, model, version info, and associate it with the device package. Moving to APIC tenant space, inside tenant common, under L4 L7 services, right click on chassis to create a new chassis. Each chassis 
is equivalent to a VCMP host. We will create two chassis, one for VCMP host.80, one for VCMP host.86. Chassis type is the one created earlier under L4L7 services. Username and password is the VCMP host admin credential. Under the same tenant common, right click on device manager, create a new device manager that contains IWFO cluster info. Associate the device manager type with one created earlier. Under management, enter all three IWFO virtual appliances management IP. Username and password is IWFO admin credential. Notice all three IWFO virtual appliances must have the same admin credential. With the chassis and device manager configured, we can now create a L4, L7 device that uses a pair of F5 Big IP VCMP gas in active standby with F5 iWorkflow as the L4, L7 device cluster management. Enabling APIC to deploy IAPS for iWorkflow in F5 Big IP. In this example, we have a physical device type in HA cluster using the iWorkflow device package. Notice under device, specify the chassis, which is the VCMP host. And under cluster, specify the device manager, which is the iWorkflow cluster. Assign VCMP host physical interface to L4, L7 device logical external and internal interfaces. Click Next. Under the device level configuration, enter the VCMP host configuration, NTP info, and HA parameters. Notice, with chassis and device manager being used, no need to enter device level VCMP and IWFO configuration. Click Finish to complete the L4, L7 device configuration. Once the L4, L7 device is in stable state, it is ready for use. Checking the configuration on the VCMP host and guest. The HA VLAN is configured on the host and pushed to the guest. The two VCMP guests are in HA active standby pair and in sync. This concludes our demo on how to build Cisco ACI L4 L7 device using F5 Big IP VCMP gas in HA and IWFO HA cluster. Thank you for watching.